Those immigrants and agony of our people, the plunder of our cities, sacking our own towns, violating our citizens, um, the conquest of our country. Um, and when you listen to language like that, you know, I think about a 1915 movie called uh, Birth of a Nation, which portrayed African Americans as uh, hypersexual and violent, and to the rescue of American virtue was the KKK. Now, it is very clear that, what, that Afri there are differences between African Americans and, and immigrants and migrants in this country. The through line, however, is the, the way in which white supremacists are viewed as being virtuous and being able to stand up to the virtues of our country. And when Donald Trump starts calling out white supremacists, tasking them and, uh, uh, implicitly or explicitly, mm -hmm. the bullets from those guns don't care about your backstory. And my concern is that even though we can, and there has been fun poked at that speech, no question about it, mm -hmm. um, traditional politics would tell you that she should have created a clear alternative to what Joe Biden was saying, and she absolutely did not do that. Um, but they use that story because that story works. That fear is a, that story is a proxy for fear. And the concern is that it will metastasize in a way um, that goes well beyond the joke. And that's what we should add to your list, poisoning the blood, that's right. mm -hmm. because that's mm -hmm. what that mm -hmm. is about. And look, let's not let Katie uh, Britt off the hook. She's an attorney, yep. she's a United States senator, and she should just know better. Yep. Um, all right, no one is 